Welcome back. Uh, you know, Brian Reynolds is with us, and uh, Brian owns Reynolds Custom Pain, and really committed to the health of the environment with the use of Benjamin Moore's industry-leading uh, low VOC and zero VOC, which he's going to have to explain what that is, because <laughs> I don't know, but really focuses on the quality of his work, backing every job with a five-year warranty. Uh, well, Brian, I know you're just on with, you're here with Cameron. Cameron uh, just stepped out for a minute, but... You know, people sometimes just want to quit looking at their house, the color it is, the paint color. Sure. And also, it's good to protect your house. Right. Um, when should people start considering painting the exterior of their home? Uh, yeah, sure. There's there's a few things to look at. I mean, uh, you know, paint is going to fade within probably six months to a year after you put it on, no matter the material. Um, and then from there, you start to see the difference in materials. Um, what you'll start to see, if you look around the corners of the of the windows, you'll see... Maybe just a little bit of uh, white from the caulking being revealed or just a little crack on the seams. Uh, and that's probably when you want really want to start thinking about it. Or if the, or if the color's Every faded year? too much. No, 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 no. No, no I'm sorry. Um, within a year, you'll see it fade a little bit. So four, five, six years into a, a probably lower quality paint, you'll start to see little cracks in, in the seams. Got it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, that's probably a good time to start budgeting. You're going you're gonna to need to in the next couple of years. If you see a literal crack where you can see, you can stick your finger in there, then it's time to call somebody and get right. it done. Um, or obviously the paint's chipping or cracking. You want to you get it done. But, um, or if you just hate the color. <laughs> or if you just hate the color. You come home every day from work, you're like, man, I hate the color of this house. <laughs> this is oh, not no, where I want to be today. <laughs> uh, and so it's paint does a really good job of protecting your house, doesn't sure. it? Sure, yeah, it's a big part of, well, protecting, you know, the materials that you side it with. So, you know, more more important, like a cedar cedar shake or wood, the raw materials really need the, the paint to kind of keep the moisture out. Um, and uh, with the hardy plank, you know, the materials are pretty solid themselves, but uh, the paint, you know, it kind of adds a, an extra layer of protection. Um, maybe if you had, if you pictured the interior, um, same, similar as an out, outside, you picture the interior where there's a, your drywall, right, and and then you'd put on a primer that would kind of start that process, and then still until you have a little bit of sheen, it's it's not really washable, it's not fixable. So similar thing on the outside, and, until you get kind of the, there's a latex in most of the the water based paints that acts almost it, it, it's it's like a latex glove, it protects the outside of your material. So, yeah. so you end up um, in with a house or a paint that can protect your house. And, I mean, that should be, I mean, that's something people really need to think about here, right? I mean, that's a big piece of this. Yeah, well, as I was talking about, if you start to, if something starts to crack, if the, the corners start to crack around the windows, your paint's starting to crack, well, then then your siding is going to come into um, into danger. If your siding's in danger, it's a lot more expensive to reside your house than it is to repaint your house. So you don't want that material to be You'll probably have damaged. to paint the siding anyways. Exactly. <laughs> Unless it's vinyl, and then we don't have double, vinyl. Double vinyl is fine, there. yeah. Um, and then is there a reason to repaint the interior of your home other than just aesthetic? Um, I, I think, you know, paint after a certain age gets in, in the interior can um, – become much more difficult to wash, uh, especially with lower grade materials. Or if you maybe you bought a, a new home and they, they painted it what we call builder beige, which is just kind of the, the plain color. A lot of that can be, you know, they're doing a lot of homes with that color in a track home or something. So it's probably when you move into a new place, especially even if it's a newer home, you probably want to look at it within a three to five years, probably start repainting the interior of your house just because the, the, the quality of the material they use, it, just in new construction, the way that it's that it's done isn't isn't always what you're looking for. Um, and then when you start to see, you know, a lot of, you, you, if you can't wash it off, it's probably a good time to repaint. <laughs> <laughs> if you wash the wall from your kid's handprints and the entire paint comes off with it, A, yeah. get different cleaner, or, or B, your paint isn't really working anymore. Yeah, you can ch test that too. If you get a white cloth on a, on any color wall and you just take a white towel and you scrub it on there, if you see paint coming off, it's probably not, it's either not a great material or it's time to be. Kind of be repainted. So a lot of people think they can paint themselves, right? They can just sure. paint their own house. A lot of people can. <laughs> <laughs> I've Kevin seen Daniels a... <laughs> who join us in a minute is sitting there going, I uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of paint houses where people have painted it themselves. Uh, you know, I have friends who, who do paint them. I mean, in, you know who they are, and they, they think they can do everything. Is and, this you? Uh, no, oh God, no, I wouldn't touch a paintbrush. 
Uh, but you know, you know people. You walk into their house and you're like, you totally did this yourself, and yeah, it shows. Right, right. I think you know you get a few things. You get speed, and one of the things that you're talking about, you know, earlier about what, what, what should you quit? Some people need to quit home maintenance because they either have no experience or it just takes a lot of time. I'm, a, a, fr- a friend of mine is uh, is actually my banker. <laughs> we uh, he was telling me, man, I should have called you. Uh, the other week, and I painted my house, and it took me twenty or put painted my living room, and it took me twenty four hours. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, living. You room. don't even know what to do, right? Right, I mean, right. You're taping off everything, and you know, and and so I I think that's a big thing. Like, you know, what is your time worth with your family? He's got two young kids. It's it's not worth the time. Um, and also, you can't always tell when something is done poorly, but you can always tell when it's done well. And so. Um, when we go and do a place, you can you can walk into a house and you'll be like, man, that's crisp and clean. Somebody other than the homeowner did this. Bob, oh. home, homeowner Bob didn't go paint the house yeah, last weekend. Yeah. So yeah, that's, and obviously professionals kind of know why your house is chipping and they can investigate that. Whereas if you're doing it yourself, it can be you sometimes don't know why. You, you just, don't just paint over yeah. the chips, <laughs> right? You sand it down. You do a lot of stuff, right? So, so um, what? Okay, so uh, Brian, what are some of the biggest mistakes then that people make when doing it themselves i think what well that's kind of a good segue from what we were just talking about if uh you know say we're talking about chipping and and stuff on the exterior of your home if you just kind of paint that over well there could be a lot of causes for that there could be poor ventilation for the siding you know that could be the cause if you don't get that fixed in another two years you're going to be calling somebody and then it's going to be because of a lot of bubbling and chipping paint that you need repaired um and then your siding goes. And so it's, uh, that's, that's kind of a common thing where you just kind of don't know all the, the ins and outs. Uh, some other common mistakes are, are, are poor, poor materials choices. Um, just, because, you know, just because someone has a good marketing plan um, doesn't mean that they have good materials. <laughs> so. And, well, speaking of good materials, uh, you, uh, I told people we'd get to this. Benjamin Moore's low VOC. Volatile Organic compounds okay <laughs> and explain what that means it's basically breathing in bad stuff for you okay <laughs> so you walk into a room it's been painted it smells like fumes like and there's there's low voc paints there's no voc of paints and there's paints <laughs> right <laughs> uh, and i use all low or no voc paints benjamin moore has a great line of natro paint is a i don't know if i should be plugging benjamin moore but i like their stuff so i like it and I, I recommend my mom uses it, so everybody else should. Your too. mom uses Ben. Yeah, <laughs> I like I like the first name. Um, so uh, again, we're here with Brian Reynolds of Reynolds Custom Painting. Brian, we have about a minute left before we have to go to break. Um, so you know, when you think about these environmentally friendly paints, less toxins. We've recently had a couple guests on to talk about just the the biological safety of homes, and this seems to be something that you know, if you're not breathing in toxins, your kids aren't breathing in toxins. That's a healthier way to live. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it, it, you know, that's, that's you know, I, I like I said, I, my, I recommend my mom uses the paint. So, you know, uh, it, it, it goes towards uh, just kind of adding value to life other than just the way that it looks. And, I, you know, spend money on materials. <laughs> You're going to have to do the, the labor. And, and, and when you think about the difference in material cost, it's such a small percentage of that whole job. And so the percentage that you're saving in difference um, isn't really worth it. So. Well, I mean, certainly making sure your house is safe. Right. I mean, you know, and we talk about this from the professional side and from the material side, as you're discussing, people need to quit trying to do things so cheap. Yeah. You know, if you start trying to do everything as cheap as possible, you end up with highly fumed, fumed, fumed paints. Highly fumed. Don't Highly we, fumed. If it's not toxic, real, then we'll just use it. I just it. imagine like an old Scooby Doo episode with the, the, <laughs> the uh, never mind. The green mist. The, yeah, the green mist coming uh, off the walls and your kid breathing it in and coughing and that's getting what asthma. VO, that's what VOCs now I are. I sound like one of those mist. insurance commercials. <laughs> Kevin Daniels. All right, guys. Uh, we have to go to break. Kevin Daniels is coming up next with potentially a Scooby Doo <laughs> rendition. I'm not sure. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Brian. We'll be right, right back after this Thanks, break. Ben.